So once again we're back at location, this is the hole we dug the last time, we're just going to have to widen it all up so we're going to get smashing, literally, and see if we can produce anything out here just now. None of the guys are here yet, a bunch of lazy bones. Norman, Bigfoot Digger, he just messaged me like, needing picked up, I was like, I'm already there eating my bacon sandwich, man. So. See you soon on the first find. Alright, so none of them have showed up yet. Hole's getting much, much deeper. We do have a few finds. We've got a big blank bottle there. We've had a few clay pipes. We've got a fancy stem with some twirl action going on. Uh, and some funky green tile. Apart from that, we found a couple of really big sized, thick bowl pieces, but in here we have one of the first bottles to come out. Let me check it out. And it is a Patterson's, probably Glasgow, yep. Coffee and Shikori. Oh, this one had a label, but didn't have coffee and Shikori. There we go. Oh well. It's our first camp coffee and shikari bottle. So, still nobody here, everybody's lazy. They like me to dig all the holes before they get here, you see. So what I've done is just dug everything out and filled all their holes in. Nahahaha. <laughs> right, still nobody is here, but just to show you, mega deep now. And we're pulling out loads and loads of clay pipes. We even just got a little inkwell, some plain bottles, coffee and chicory bottle. But yeah. Now we're down to the right depth. It's just a shame I didn't have my pickaxe today. Nobody else is here. Bunch of lazy bones. Well. At least our hole's empty, the fines are going to be ripping out us today while everybody's still clearing out their own stuff. Ooh. See you soon. Right, as you can see, we just pulled one here that says Southwestern Brewery Company Limited, and it's from Newton Stewart. Still has its cork in it. Cracking little bottle. First good beer bottle today. Now we did get our cute little tiny tiny green like a miniature Kepler bottle. Loving that. Our twirly pipe stem. And our just normal little green inkwell. So all the good finds are here. Well, we did find Bigfoot Digger. He's arrived. <laughs> I think we're still waiting on treasure hunt in Scotland. Can you see that? Can you see that big smoke cloud ripping out of there? I think there's a troll already down there hiding. We'll get the spade and we'll go get him. Alright, so... If anybody says, if you find pipes you're at a dump, look at this, there's at least 25 pipe bowls. And various other bits of pipe stem everywhere. Some of the even a little knobbly bit. I thought it was going to be a full pipe when I pulled it out. Clay marble. Yeah, all these. Loads of them. Now I did get a couple of bottles. I got this big one here. It's like a milk bottle or a pickle jar. No markings on it. We did get a couple of four ounce bob rolls and a nifty little salt shaker that I thought was a decanter top but me 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 still decent design on it we're doing not too bad 25 pipes some of them have got the little detail on the side of it the little ridge stuff yeah. coming out today quite long and decent there's the one with the little stand on the bottom. Lots and lots and lots. The hole's getting very, very deep. 
so we'll see you when we get back to it. Right guys, we're over at Bigfoot Digger's Gear here and he's also pulled a little penny inkwell jar, a bovrol, two ounce I think, yep. Uh, we got two pipes, complete, one even has the stand on the bottom and this one here as you can see has been modified so technically two full pipes it's got a couple others with some big bit of stem kicking about not bad not bad starting to find the goodies it's bigfoot digger he's good luck oh look at this i forgot about these he got this thing here and he smashed this one or it was already smashed but that's cool. Oh, and he's just pulled out an absolute oh, stonker of a pipe. You see that? Hey, Britannia. <laughs> yeah, man, that's cool. And what was that? No, and another stone wearing well, same as his other one. It's too jammy. Uh, he did get this milk glass thing here. It's cool. It says cream. Smart. He found this little button in his tail and spile, which is funky. He's got a stopper, and would you believe it, a coin. He's also got a super, super shiny marble. I don't see them coming out glazed like that very often. Right. More of his... right guys, we're just going home now, right? <laughs> Look at this! Oh, he just pulled them out left, right and centre out of here. Right, we're getting back down our hole. Whole... Come on, I can show you how deep it is. It's a long way down. Right, that's us down to the first level. Then we get way back into here. Oh yeah. As you can see, I'm standing on the bottom and here's my shoulder. So, we're doing good, we're down at the depths. Now we just need to start going sideways. Start getting some find action on the go. Back soon. As you can see guys, we are way under the ground and way up here we just pulled our first stone where it's only two minutes ago Bigfoot Digger found his so we're equaling them up not bad leave that there just now and we'll cave in some more of this right guys down inside the hole, we think we have come across a bomb of the torpedo variety. Yeah! Belfast, Corey, one torpedo glass, buddies. Well done, Horde Hunters. Looks like we've pulled out the best bottle and rarest bottle out this dump so far. Come on, we want to get a thumbs up. Treasure Hunt in Scotland's going to be sick when he sees this. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Best bottle ever. Like it. Told you we'd be running the show today. Now we need to catch up in the finds department because Norman's got the most stonewares. Bigfoot Digger certainly gets active as soon as he gets in his hole. Does nothing but produce finds. So yeah, one last look. At one of the rarest bottles coming out the ground, a torpedo glass. Corey Belfast. Fully intact, no cracks, no splits. A couple of lines, but excellent. See you on the other side. Well, well, Norman the Bigfoot Digger has pulled off a cracker. Look at that. Glasgow and Dundee, big picture of Britannia sitting on her throne there, yeah, C&P bar.
Oh, CMP Barry. That is a cracker miniature cod. Well, the smaller version, I think they're called baby cods. I didn't even know they existed until this came out of the ground. What an absolute stonker. Good little size as well. Bang on, Bigfoot digger, bang on. There you go, guys. Treasure hunt in Scotland arrives on fucking scene. Within three minutes, pulls out something like this. Look at that for engraving. That's like my John Mackay's, only this looks better. Ashby stains. That is cool. And some more. I've had a couple of these, but I have totally knocked the seven shades uh, right out of them before I've managed to get them out of the hole. So it's the first one I've seen that's complete. Those ribbed lines on them. Here we got chunky clear inkwell. We got head of a bottle. Still got its stopper inside it. Pipe stems. Several bottles. Oh, look at that! Cracked up cord. <laughs> and look at that. <laughs> Yeah, allegedly this guy can't dig a hole and find balls. You should see the stuff he's pulling out of here, man. I've dug a well down here, I'm at Oh, water. we've hit water. <laughs> we've hit water at like three locations around this place. One will take you on a little dive. Look, this hole here was epic and got back filled back in. Hey, where are we? Now I spent all day digging this one out and caved the roof of it in all around the sides to make the hole much much bigger problem is we've raised the floor about two and a half three feet from where it was so lots of diggy diggy to go to empty it back out now look over here at bigfoot diggers hole Ooh, it's got some goodies oh big ass fuck oh, Couple of little embossed goodies down here. I'll take a detour around. Look at that! <laughs> That's a hole. And all here, this used to be his hole, all over here. And it's dug down a big hole here, moved along, started digging over here, throwing the stuff back. As you can see, he's tailing piles. Go everywhere. <laughs> Proper digging going on out here. And we are being rewarded slowly but surely. Those guys can be digging holes for weeks on end, just hitting nothing but broken bits of pottery. We are just pulling the stuff out left, right, and centre here. We've got AG bars. Another big AG bar bottle. We've got lots of good days. Get back to you when we find a couple of more toppers. Hi right, guys, we're getting sorted for going home. We got an epic hole. And we also got our first hoard. Now look at this. This is my pipes. 41 pipes. Well pipe bowls. You seeing that? All the way up and over. 41 of them. Let alone tons and tons of stems and yeah. I had this protruding out of the ground, out of my wall in my hole, and it was almost a rare ginger bottle, but the rest of it wasn't even there. But yeah, 41 pipe bowls. That's officially a hoard. Well, it's wrap up time. We've done not too bad. Got a lot of uh, plain Jane stuff that was just taken anyway, but. I'll run through everything. None of it's been washed just now, but yeah, I'll give you a quick look. This one here was the Southwestern Brewery Co. Limited, and it's from Newton Stewart. It was all right. This big pickle jar milk jug thing. Cool. Uh, embossed wise we've got an AG bar 
Glasgow typical style with the fat lip. We've got this one here, Como, that ended up being a bottle for an uh, ammonia. It's got it embossed along the top. Now we've got a couple of Bovril 4 ounce pair. You've got your usual Essence Camp and Coffee and Shikori from Parsons, Glasgow. And these were just blanders, but they were different sizes, so I just kept them. Look forward to doing stuff with them. My one and only stoneware that came out. So, that was good. I joined my little batch up at the back. Can you see them? Yeah, up here. Got my other stonewares. Uh, we've got a Curtis Brothers Preserver. Which would have been a ketchup in the early 1900s. We've got this cool salt shaker glass. Thought it was a decanter stopper until I flipped it over. Yeah, second prize on that one. Still cool though. We got a couple of clay marbles. So they'll be going in my other little tub. I uh, got a couple of ink wells, one green, one clear. Quite good condition. This little thing, like a miniature Kepler bottle, it's green. I like that. I'll be making a big set of different sizes. So that's good. Uh, apart from that, I got some just generic. This one was a bit weird shaped. So I kept that, probably perfume. But yeah, just generic. Blank, squared and round edged bottles of different sizes. Got a few stoppers. Like right, AG bar and stuff. The screwing kind. The threads. Uh, we've got the glass stoppers, ceramic stoppers. Got this nifty bit of pipe with some twirl action on the go. Cool. So, it, oh, look at that. Remember this pipe bowl? Take different size stems. Oh, yeah. We's chuchin. So, apart from I got. A big diamond. Wow. Easily 10 million bucks right there. Need to get it quoted though. Now I did start finding loads of bits of tea sets, but I threw them all away and I'm actually going to start collecting any bits of tea sets I find just to see what I can get. Because I've found quite a lot of bits, so that's going to be a new collection for me. Any little bits I come across be coming home in a separate bag. We've got a lid, kind of hoping it was like the same kind of tub Treasure Hunt in Scotland got with a toothpaste with a cool, uh, it was like pattern on the front, the advertisement logo, the brand, really cool print on it. But the highlight of the day came from this bad boy, torpedo bottle from Corey in Belfast. It's a beauty. Absolute stonker. Good, good big size. Nice fat lip on it. Weirdest thing ever. I do know that when they used to cork bottles up and then send them on like boats on long journeys, sometimes the corks would dry up because the bottles were stored up the way. But these were made so that they'd be stored down the way and it would keep the cork wet keep it constantly sealed on the longer journeys on the boats so there's a fun fact for you but yeah torpedo bottle stole the show heavy cool unusual like it so 
I'd keep an eye on this dig if I was used. There's some minted stuff coming out here and just doesn't stop getting good. I also found a neck of a super rare green topped ginger beer bottle like Andrew found. Yeah, I found a neck of one, it was protruding out the wall. I was like, yes! Everybody was in while I'd done the reveal and the head popped off by itself, so I'm gutted at that. And the car's fried. Car is fried. The power steering system is gone. So we need to get that sorted out before there's any more long journeys as the car was leaking bad when I got home. So yeah, we need to get that sorted. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us. And we shall have another hunt soon. Another dig. I think this Sunday there's another dig set up, so keep your eyes peeled. I'm not sure how many people will be there. I'm sure there'll be a few. So have lots of goodies and lots of footage. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Bye for now.